Welcome to week two. I'm Lori, your instructor, and welcome to our family cabin. We are just trying out the brand new toaster that the kids have got for us at the cabin. It's great to have adult kids. And at the same time, we have a lot of treasured antiques here that have been in my family for years. So I'm up at the cabin. Sadly, my own mom has been very ill, so I'm trying to stay up north as much as possible. But look what I get to wake up to. Yay. I'll be updating your weekly checklist in just a moment. And I thought I'd step out and share with you what the goal is for this week. This week, you'll be introduced to some ideology, some theory behind intercultural communication. We'll talk a little bit about universal and relativist thinking once again, and we'll be introducing you to a bit of a quandary. I'll go ahead and uh, change out the camera so you can see the other side here. Oh, I feel like an old person. Well, I'll just do it this way. Um, nonetheless, sometimes people say everything is relative. Like maybe I'm handling a cell phone better than most parents. And other people will say, nope, you're not doing a good job. But the point is, is that there is some place in between those different areas of saying, mm, we can never make a decision versus I'm always right. And I'm going to ask you to think a little bit about that this week. We'll also introduce you to the idea of cultural dimensions. And we'll look at collectivist versus individualistic, for example. So this has been in our family for my entire life, my dad built the cabin. And as much as possible, we like to think that, you know, we share it in common with our kids and um, we're all for the common good. And I want to, as much as possible, think that. Yet at the same time, um, we have individualist thinking, like uh, whose responsibility is X, Y, and Z. And um, we're, we're embedded in the culture of being in the United States. So we do have individualistic um, ideas. Even the, there was a storm last night and the pontoon wasn't tied up. And I'm like, oh, who didn't do that? And so sometimes we think about that and it was just an old piece of rope. So we've had that in, your, in our family for years. So I'm hoping that you'll think a little bit this week about who am I, who are you, what are we doing here together? But the focus really is on who am I a little bit more as well as how do I fit within all of this culture that we're learning about and these dimensions. Where do I stand within these dimensions? Um, how has it influenced me and how does it influence how I see the world? We'll have a little bit about family and dig a little deeper next week with religion and family. But there are two really great websites I'm going to guide you to this week to learn a little bit more about our cultural dimensions, as well as um, you can look a little bit about high and low context with Hall. And then finally, uh, just peek into the idea of religion. So deep culture includes our family, our society, and our religion and how that impacts us. And I'm hoping that you'll find this week to be challenging as well as personally rewarding to learn more about who am I, who are you, what are we doing here together? And in the meantime, just check it out one more time. Here we are at the lake and I'll have to leave just in maybe a couple of hours when I finish the updates. Have a good week.